Hey guys, this is Sandeep from Phone Arena and today we have with us the Sony Xperia C5 Ultra Dual Smartphone. And this is a phablet, a 6 inch phablet that is selfie centric. The reason we say that is because it has a 13 megapixel camera with LED flash, not just at the back, but at the front as well. So the device was launched on August 26 at a price of Rs 29,990 and comes in three different colors. It has a black color, a white color, as well as a glossy soft mint color variant. So let's just take a look at the box first. So up front you can see the Sony C5 Ultra Dual smartphone itself and as the name suggests, it is a dual SIM phone. It supports two nano SIM cards. And I don't know if you can see it clearly from the picture, but the device has very thin bezels actually around the screen, especially on the sides. So it actually has 0.8 mm of bezel around the screen on the on either side. So let's just take a look at the sides. There's nothing much here apart from you know the basic few information at the back. Okay, so here we have the Bravia 2 mobile engine, the Exmor RS sensor which is used for the 30 megapixel camera on the front as well as the back the front 30 megapixel camera also has an led flash just like the one at the back it is a 6 inch full full hd 1080p display so the device is powered by a 1.7 gigahertz octa core processor which is the mediatek mt6752 processor with mali t760 mp2 gpu it has 2 gb of ram as well as 16 gb of internal memory and is expandable up to 200 GB using micro SD cards. So let's just take a look at what's inside the box now. So here we have the Xperia C5 Ultra Dual smartphone itself. And being a 6 inch phablet, it is quite big. As you can see here, it is big, especially due to the bezels on the top and the bottom. And it's not symmetric as you can see here because of the 30 megapixel sensor up here. The bezel at the top is more than what is at the bottom. But what you can see is that the bezels at the side are very, very minimal. I'm sure that there's some more bezel that we can see probably when we turn the phone on. But right now it's really, really small. And it looks quite nice even though it's big. I think it's a bit heavy. But I think for the size it's probably justified. So let's just take a quick look at the hardware while we boot up the device. So up front you have the large 6 inch display which is a 1080p panel. Then you have the 30 megapixel front facing camera here along with the LED flash. You have the usual set of proximity as well as ambient light sensors. You have the earpiece here and below the display you also have a secondary ear, uh, loudspeaker. I guess maybe it's a stereo loudspeaker or perhaps it's a dummy unit for the microphone. Now moving over to the right side here we have the camera shutter button the volume rocker key as well as the power slash lock key. On the left side we have the slot for the micro SD as well as the slot for the nano SIM. So moving over to the left side we have a large flap that actually houses the micro SD card slot and the phone can take micro SD cards up to 200 GB and now you can also see the SIM tray here it's a bit difficult to get out and yeah, and here you have the SIM tray. It can house two nano SIM cards and it goes in like this. Now moving over to the top, you have the 3.5 mm audio jack here. And at the bottom, you have the primary microphone as well as the micro USB port. Now moving over to the back, you have the primary 13 megapixel camera here as well as the LED flash and the secondary microphone. Now here's the NFC logo which shows that the phone does support NFC. There's a Sony branding here, as well as the Xperia branding at the bottom. So let's just set the device aside for now and see what else is in the box. So here we have the wall charger. And this is the Indian plug. And here is where the USB cable plugs into. It seems to have a different asymmetrical design over here. We don't know what that's used for but then it does and it has a green heart logo here and the other thing is the micro usb cable it seems to be thicker than most other cables and seems to be quite long as well apart from that you also have some documentation 
there don't seem to be any earphones included in the package but we guess that they it might come in the final retail package itself so let's just take a look at the phone now so as you can see here the phone is all booted up so let's just go into the settings and take a look at the software version that the phone is running so as you can see here it's running on android version 5.0 and the model number of the device is E5563 and this is for the dual sim uh, C5 Ultra Dual this is a 16 GB variant and out of the box users get 8.54 GB of available storage and you can expand that up to 200 GB using micro SD card slots as well the device does seem quite smooth we don't see any lag and then the screen is actually really nice it's a large 6 inch screen with 1080p resolution the only downside is that there are big bezels both below as well as above the display but the bezels on the side are really really minimal. We are not sure if you can tell from this screen but there is barely a millimeter of bezel on both sides of the screen. Perhaps you can see it better on this with the white background here. There is 0.8 millimeter of bezel on this device. So that was a quick look at the unboxing of the Sony Xperia C5 Ultra Dual. If you like the video, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.